This next game, X-Men Mojo World, is uh, it's it's the last in the Game Gear trilogy, and uh, I'm kind of surprised, honestly, that they still kept making Game Gear games as late as nineteen uh, ninety-six. And and apparently, this game had a had a Master System version as well. <laughs> Uh, there goes that 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 Sega logo again. Oh boy! That 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 title screen actually uh, looks pretty good. X Men Mojo World. Okay, so uh, the, the last two X-Men games were actually not all that bad, uh, on Game Gear, anyway. But certainly I would say the second one was better than the first, so maybe we'll actually be able to finish the third one, and it'll be the best one? <laughs> okay, so they at least got a little bit more creative with, with the... The start menu. I, I like how there, there's no easy option for 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 the difficulty setting. It's either maniac or suicidal. <laughs> Nothing less severe than either of those two. <laughs> but yes, obviously we want the music on. We want the sound effects on. Blah, blah, blah. Start to begin. Oh, there's no level select this time. It's just a uh, linear level progression instead of pick which level you want to start with, like the first two games. And apparently we only have Rogue and Wolverine to choose from at, this, at the start. Alright, let's uh, go with Wolverine then. Right, uh, I kind of forgot how, how to play this, because uh, it's uh, actually been a bit since I played through uh, the first two games. Uh, I'm at full health, so I'm not gonna take the risk of jumping for it, especially since I don't feel like... Oh god. <sighs> like, I'm, I'm hitting the jump button, and it's not even registering. And plus, you, you saw that I, I didn't even make it when I did jump, so... Uh, there goes, uh, ammo for the X powers. So at least I know I can just do duck punches to avoid getting hit. As well as keep them away.
I forgot that these games have fall damage, which is so stupid. Now imagine a character like Wolverine taking fall damage. I actually want to get that house before I move on. Actually, never mind. It might not be worth it. Well, I guess I'll find out up ahead. Oh, I just realized it, it didn't show a character. It didn't show a picture of a random character at the, at the start of the level like it did in the first two games. Uh, so I guess you, you, you won't know who, who you'll get after beating the level until after you beat it. So uh, looks like we got Gambit there. Since I since I just played as Wolverine, uh, I'll give Rogue a try. See how she plays. Wait. Yeah, I forgot that these games had a double jump, and it looks like Rogue can do it. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that would have been useful to remember in the previous level. Oh. Right, she can't shoot anything. She, she can just fly. Military base? It's gotta be. <sighs> Those enemies are annoying. Y you basically can't avoid them. And wow, that the level is over already. Is this? Oh, I, I think. <sighs> oh, wow. Okay, so... Uh... Okay, so... Uh, I'm assuming that was Magneto, and uh, he seems to be a pushover in this game. Apparently. Wow. So, um... Alright, so we just got Cyclops, uh, we'll try out Gambit, though. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, so you can't push this. Oh god. That's what I assume are... Sentinels again. Oh. First maze level of the game. What? A life, but still, I, I gotta start the level over. That's probably why they put this health here at the beginning. God, look at how much lag there is. Let 
whenever those things teleport, that there's so much lag. What's with the slippering? teleport exactly where, where I'm going to be. Oh, okay, good. Made it to the end of the level. Oh, oh wow. battle was kind of a butt, but whatever, we managed to beat it. Okay, so who do we get after that? Um, I'm gonna assume that's Havoc. Or Havoc, however you say it. Because there's no way that's, uh, Black Bolt. Uh, he's not an X-Men, he's an Inhuman, so that definitely has to be Havoc. Alright, so let's play a Cyclops for level 4. They gave him a different costume in this game. Oh, right, I forgot that... Cyclops can't shoot while ducking. He, he shoots down instead uh, in these games. Oh, man. Uh, th this might be the only time I play a Cyclops, then, if I can beat this level with him. Yeah, that, that's so incredibly annoying. like level. Now hopefully this won't be as bad as uh, the last one. Although the, the last one wasn't really that bad either. It was more or less linear despite not being, um, well, linear. Y you know what I mean.
Ugh. Gotta remember that there's fall damage in this game. Really hope I get ammo for my power up soon. Oh, all this health, and, and I just want ammo. Wait. Oh, please tell me this is the. Okay, good. Oh god, it's this guy again. Yeah, because fighting him once in the, in the last game wasn't, wasn't enough. Let, let's make him a boss again. So I don't, it doesn't look like I need to get behind him, I just need to hit him after he shoots. Ugh. Had me a bit worried there for a second, but uh, all right, we managed to beat it. So, who's that? Uh, <laughs> uh that is okay. I'm not sure who who that is, but uh, I mean, I I feel like I recognize the character, but but uh. Uh, it, it can't be the person that I'm thinking of, since one, they're not an X-Men, two, they didn't exist when, when this game was made, so, um, yeah, it's definitely somebody else, um, alright, well, we'll try Havoc for a level five. Oh yeah, th this definitely has to be Havoc. Oh god. And what the hell is this level? <laughs> the pink outer space background with... But, but, but at the same time, I'm like in Arabian Nights type of setting. Like, what is this? There's like spaceships here. And... want to walk past them, but at the same time, I feel like if I keep them alive, they're just going to keep following me. Also, these the, these regular enemy dudes look like Captain Falcon. Stand on, on, on these 
on these windowsills, and they serve absolutely no purpose. Maybe we'll see them later in the level where they can actually be used, or useful somehow. Supposed to be Black Panther? What? I'm not sure who else this could be, but, but why would I be fighting him in an X Men game? Alright, level 6. And apparently that's the end of uh, unlocking new characters with every level beat, so uh, I guess we'll play as whoever the hell this is. Yeah, uh, I have no idea who, who this is, and, and I should know. Sad that I don't. Is that it? Oh, that... <laughs> That's right, this game is called X-Men in Mojo World, so... Yeah, of course. So is that it? Did I beat the game? Let's see what happens when I press start. Yeah, I beat the game. <laughs> That's it. That 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 was everything. That that was the entire game. <laughs> okay, well certainly um um so that certainly was a lot shorter uh, than the first two Game Gear X Men games. Um. And it was also a lot easier, as you could no doubt tell from the fact that I was actually able to finish it. Um, of the three, uh, excuse me, I want to say the second one was better, uh, but at the same time, it, it also had two levels that I couldn't finish because of... Uh, the confusing layout, you know, there were maze-like levels, and also the bosses were kind of difficult to fight against. Excuse me, and I was ultimately not able to beat what I assume was the final boss. Um, so, uh, you know, it's easy to say that this game w w was better because of the fact that I was actually able to finish it. <laughs> uh, but, um... But, yeah, um... I guess I, I would say that this one is the best of the three, even if it's probably the shortest. I, I didn't play much of the first one, but, um, yeah, that despite being the easiest and shortest, this, yeah, ultimately, it, it's the fact that 
most of the levels are, are pretty linear, and, and even the ones that aren't completely linear, you you still have more or less a set path that you know how to go down, so you're not exactly going to be wandering around wondering what it is that you have to do and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I, I would say, you know, despite being the, the shortest and easiest game, that this is the best one of the three Game Gear games. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I guess I'll, I'll try playing this on, on the harder difficulty uh, another time just to see if there's any difference. Uh, you know, if anything, it'll at least feel challenging to, to play through. But uh, other than that, um, I suppose this game is good enough to, to be worth playing one time and, and, and that's it, just for curiosity's sake. But uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much every character plays the same, you know, like, like, aside from Rogue and Wolverine who have uh, different special powers, um, everybody else, you know, you know, they just have a, a basic punch attack and, and they shoot a, a projectile as their special attack, again, aside from Wolverine and Rogue, so, you know, more or less they, they all play the same besides those two, so it doesn't really matter who you pick, it's just a, oh yeah, and Cyclops' projectile can be fired in four directions, uh, but yeah, other than those three, um, Everybody more or less plays the same, and uh, you know it's just a matter of what what different kind of visuals you, you'll get out of who you're playing as and what projectiles you'll shoot. So uh, yeah.